Hi, hello everyone. I am Young Chen Breslin and today I'm going to be introducing myself a little bit and also talking you through how I get all this makeup off of my face. So um, we're going to start off with a product that I was actually introduced to by a really good friend of mine and it's the chamomile cleansing butter from the body shop and the first time I used this product I was really impressed by it just purely because the little amount of butter that you have to use and it just melts away all that makeup like waterproof mascara everything and it doesn't feel like it's ever tasting your skin it doesn't feel like a vigorous cleanse or anything it's just a really good product to start off with just before you when you're taking your makeup off it also comes in these really cute, attractive aluminium tins, which are which are really good for the environment. They are refillable, 100% recyclable as well. And I think they look really cute as well. <laughs> so um, I've had this product for just over a year now and I really have used it quite often and it's just got about this much left in it. And you really don't need too much just to take off that makeup. So I usually use about this. And I just warm it up a little bit on my fingers and start massaging it into the face. So, a little bit about myself. Um, I am mixed raised. My dad is Scottish, my mum is Malaysian. So, I'm currently based in London, but I grew up in Glasgow and um, lived there for my whole life. And then moved to London just under five years ago now and I came down here for uni I wanted to study fashion design and that was always a big dream of mine to come down to London and do fashion design I always envisioned myself living here and yeah I can really say that I call it home now after being here for five years but um obviously I love Glasgow <laughs> so uh yeah, and just now, I graduated last year from my course, and since then, I I always did makeup artistry. I've always had a huge interest in makeup, and that was something that I always did on the side of my fashion course. Obviously, it's really integrated fashion and makeup. They go so well together, and it was more just a hobby of mine to be honest and I was just doing it to help out friends, help out other students, work on photo shoots with them, work on shows, coming up with makeup concepts and it was just a, another artistic way for me to express myself really and it was only when I graduated I really thought you know I'd like to take a bit of a break from fashion and just really push my makeup artistry and go and start doing more editorial things and see what kind of career I could make out of that as well and obviously it's not been the best year to start something like that during the lockdown during all the coronavirus but it's went quite well for me and I've been when the first lockdown lifted I just really pushed myself out there pushed myself like on Instagram as well I wasn't big on Instagram I hadn't been on my Instagram for a year and I just started messaging loads of people putting all my work out there I just created makeups that I was even doing on myself and just trying to network within the makeup industry and I ended up after the first lockdown lifted doing maybe like two three four shoots a week and submitting for editorial magazines so it's been really fun and really exciting and it's um I think it really shows that London is a really good place to live like when you are in the creative industry because there are so many other creative people here it's a great place to be and a great place to mix in with a good crowd of people really. So I've just massaged all that butter into my face now and I'm just gonna a lot of the time I would just wash this off in the sink today I'm just gonna use like a damp sponge and then pat it dry with another like microfiber cloth so it just really depends on your preference how you'd want to remove the butter from your face as well like obviously some people use wipes just for easy purposes they're always there it's easy to remove your makeup but I do tend to wash it off at the sink and then I'll typically go in with like another cleanser like a gentle face wash cleanser 
and that just to really get everything off. I have just went in and sprayed myself with a little bit of beauty oil um, just to make my face feel really calm and cleansed and that's it so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a little bit more about myself and I hope to hear from you goodbye